Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the global digital infrastructure, connectivity, real estate, and networks within. Uh, so welcome to JSA TV, Kobe Davis. Thank of you so much. Echo Sense. So nice to have you here today. Great to be here. Yeah, so you recently just joined Echo Sense. Uh, so why don't you give us a little bit more information about what drew you to the company? Sure. So I've been in the data center management world for almost 20 years. And it's kind of a small world. So you get to know a lot of the folks that you work with, that you that maybe you work that you compete with. And I had a couple of really good friends and ex-colleagues that had worked at EchoSense. And I'd heard really good things about the solution and really good things about the company. So when I had a chance to join the company, I did a deep dive and I realized, man, this, this is a really, really cool product. Um, and compared to the things I'd sold before, I mean, they were good products, but they weren't anything like this. This is giving people exactly, or data center managers, exactly what they want, which is a product that will reduce cost, um, reduce risk, but increase energy efficiency. And you're mostly responsible for the U.S. channel. Yes. Yeah. And you uh, are reimagining, basically, EchoSense is, is reimagining the future of data centers facility management. Is that is that correct? Reimagining is a that's an accurate term. Yeah. Um, we are doing the best we can to give data center operators not only a tool that will tell them when there's something going wrong or highlight when uh, they can improve something to avoid disaster recovery, but it also gives them a way to be completely proactive. So there's no second guessing. We will make recommendations based on real-time data exactly what changes to make. So not only you avoid that disaster, but you're actually doing better than you were before. Yeah. So what are some of your first few initiatives as you start leading the U.S. channel? Oh, what, what's not one of my initiatives? Um, <laughs> I guess what we really need to do or what I really need to accomplish in the short, short term is to find partners that are in the data center already. Um, they can hit the ground running. They know software, they know hardware, and we need to build relationships that are not transactional. Right. And the best way to do that is through the channel partners because we need to expand our reach as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Yeah. Well, being here at Data Cloud USA is one of those first Absolutely. initiatives, I'm sure, so we could check that one uh, off the list. Absolutely. Uh, what do you think U.S. data centers need most right now when it comes to facilities? Uh, great question. They need answers. They need data. And they need to be able to be proactive at all times. Mm -hmm. Kind of like I mentioned before. Um, there is no reason in the world why a data center staff, or for that matter, an IT department, should ever be reactive. They right. should have the tools proactive. and the information at hand at any given time to make sure that they can be proactive, energy efficient, and cost effective. Right, yeah. Well, that combination is definitely key to data center facility management success, I would say. Absolutely. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add today, Kopi? Well, the only thing I'd like to add is, you know, EchoSense is trying to build our, our, our name and our brand in the U.S. as much as we have built it in Europe and Africa. Uh, we're a U.K.-based company, and we are trying as hard as we can to expand in the U.S. So, you know, if you have the chance, check out EchoSense. Take a look at the website. Um, take a look at some of the documentation we have. Um, this is the most focused product that I've represented in my career, which is nearly 20 years. Um, That's impressive. And it really gives data center operators and data center managers and IT departments exactly what they need. There's, there's no human element. There's no chance for a mistake. It's based on real data, machine learning, AI, so it's it's locked down to give you exactly what you need. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Kopi, for joining us today. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in. 
Uh, stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.